Let's go. Good evening, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Flip Chat and Chill, where we bring, well, ladies, ladies lahat ngayon, to talk about the ins, the outs, the ups and downs, the good, the bad, and the beautiful of freelancing. And tonight, our topic is, Anne. And tonight, our topic for today is how to handle a difficult freelance client. Yeah, okay, yes. how to, yeah, very good. How to handle a difficult freelance client. Now, tonight we got our lovely uh, uh, panel here. Let me start with Miss D. Okay, very quickly, could you please talk about yourself? Oh, thank you very much. Um, and thank you before anything else for inviting me. My name is D or Diana or D Lopez. I'm CBD Daily um, online. Uh, you can find me on Facebook, Instagram. I've been a an, an, uh, freelancer for over 13 years and I've been working from home longer than that. I'd say 15 years I've been working remote and I've done online writing, online marketing, um, sales, lead gen, social media content creation, and a little bit of tech work as well. So that's, uh, I guess that's the quick and dirty about me. And I'm very happy to be here. I'm so glad that you are here. Suffice it to say, ladies and gentlemen, D here is a force to reckon with. Kaya kung meron kayo mga tanong, I am sure that she will be able to answer it. And yeah, we are talking about more than a decade of experience here ladies and I'd gentlemen. be happy so, to help oh yeah take advantage of this so thank you very much for joining us uh, next is Miss Aurea hello good evening po I'm Aurea Samonte from Cavite and um, I started freelancing for two years pa lang, going three years and I started as a general VA and then nice. um, mm -hmm, and then po nag um, mag niche down ako into um, social media manager and then ngayon po meron na din po akong um, uh, role as project manager so it it's not um, easy <laughs> pero <laughs> ngayon po sobrang na enjoy ko na siya dahil sa siguro sa mga experiences din po and with the help ng um, ng mga internships and ng mga connections natin dito po sa VA Bootcamp Time and time again, ladies and gentlemen, I tell you that one of the most important things that you need to look at is to enjoy your journey as a freelancer. And I am so glad that Aurea here says, Hindi madali, which is true. Freelancing is not easy. It's still work. Magtatrabaho ka pa rin, but at least she is enjoying her day-to-day -day life. And isn't that such a nice thing to have? Thank you very much for joining us tonight, Aurea. And what about you, Miss Mildred? Hello and uh, good evening. Thank you for having me. And uh, <clears throat> well, uh, I actually started uh, freelancing mga ano pa lang, 2018. So medyo bago ako, kaya medyo salute ako kay D uh, oh. because of 15 years, di ba? So three years, nag start ako as a general VA and then um, naging um, executive assistant uh, and then a project manager. Uh, but actually, uh, very, uh, ang start ko is very parang zero, uh, zero knowledge on VA. Um, and then, nakuha ko lang, na-pick up ko lang yung mga skills, mga kailangan kong gawin. Through Flip, ito yung pinakaunang uh, group na sinalihan ko. And then, matyaga ako nag ng kung anong gagawin. And it, it really helped me a lot. And then yung disciplina, kasi by the time na nag, nag uh, freelancing ako, I also have a day job. Uh, para sa lahat, uh, I'm a teacher actually. So, galing lang ako sa trabaho, naka uniform pa nga ako eh. So, uh, medyo uh, mahirap talaga, napakahirap. Uh, ano lang siya, kailangan lang ng disciplina, time management, uh, and, and uh, ano, 
uh, yung goal mo, dapat meron kang goal palagi para ka- kakayanin mo yung hirap ng pag freelancing It's so funny when Mildred said, kailangan ng disiplina, and she just said that she's a teacher. You know, ladies and gentlemen, my teachers, when I was, uh, well, decades ago, parang nung bata pa ako, my teachers, they don't really practice what they preach. Kaya, I am so glad that uh, Mildred is here. As a teacher, she really is practicing what she preaches. Yung, yung na, disiplina. And sometimes, ladies and gentlemen, medyo, uh, I, I guess you might be disappointed that we are saying, mahirap ito, it's not easy, it's still work. And uh, here comes Mildred saying, well, it, you really need discipline, right? But the thing is, ladies and gentlemen, um, I think I think the panel here with agree with me here that what makes it easier is that you are in a very helpful community, and they will always be there for you. Somebody is always there for you to help you out. You are never alone in freelancing. Sure, it may it may feel like you are alone because you know magisamo lang kaharap mo ang computer and then the rest of the world doesn't seem to be uh, interested in freelancing or they don't know what it, what freelancing is. But if you reach out to people like us here, like the panel here, Miss D, Miss Aria, Miss Mildred, and even Anne, our intern here, if you reach out to them, they are for sure they are willing to talk to you and you know uh they can relate to your situation because they've been there galing na kami dyan sa ano man ang struggles niyo so please ladies and gentlemen reach out if you are in trouble if you feel like um na overwhelmed na kayo hindi niyo na kaya magtanong kayo sa amin kasi right and we will be there to at least try to ease the pain for you guys kasi nararamdaman na, na nga namin yan eh. now ladies and gentlemen ayan um whatever questions you have throw it at the comment section na agad dahil ano gusto naming talakayin ito how to handle a difficult freelance client let me go straight to oria oria in your experience what is the most difficult uh client that you've ever experienced Um, honestly po, yung first client ko, um, mm-hmm. way back 2019, um, nung nag-start ako, like Ma Mildred po, wala din po ako talagang um, experience sa freelancing. Uh, galing po ako sa corporate job, uh, mostly customer service. And then, nung pag-jump ko sa freelancing, sobrang iba po. <laughs> sobrang iba siya, kahit na almost 10 years ako sa corporate job. Iba pa rin siya kasi nga po remote ganyan tapos um yung yung communication is online so email chat and then um giving instruction tapos ikaw na yung bahala mag-research <laughs> kung ano yung paano mo siya gagawin nang tama and then yeah. um so since wala pa po akong exper- uh, experience wala pa akong masyadong knowledge about freelancing um that time Uh, pumayag po ako sa una-una sa rate. Kala ko po, um, yung rate ng freelancing is same as rate ng corporate job, a starting <laughs> salary rate ng, salary rate ng, uh, salary rate ng corporate job. So, uh, pumayag ako doon without uh, knowing na sobrang buhos pala yung mga task na, <laughs> na ibibigay sa akin. So, so, yung mga unang months ko po talaga, sleepless night. And, Um, kahit gaano ko po gawin yung best ko, laging may masasabi at masasabi pa rin yung client. With oh. the salary of <laughs> of a starting um, corporate employee. So, siguro po meron na tayong idea kung ano yung starting salary ng um, corporate employee. So, um, yun po, maraming task, um, yung attitude ng client. Um, hmm. And then, yung mga, kasi I've been discouraged many times for for first months pa lang po because yung expectation nga is masyadong mata- mataas and my mm-hmm. experience is almost zero <laughs> parang mm-hmm. ganun po so talagang sleepless nights maraming iyak maraming discouragement <laughs> so that's why po i really um search for um for a course course pa po yung tawag uh-huh. ko doon um and great grateful po na nakita ko yung VA Bootcamp sa pagsa-search ko. Unang-una, tatandaan ko po nun, ang una ko napanood is yung video ni Sir Jason. 
na nagta-travel siya and then sabi niya gusto mo ba na nag-work ka while enjoying your life traveling ganyan ganyan so, sabi ko ay gusto ko yun <laughs> gusto ko yung ganun so just that simple um goal desire doon ako nagsimula po and yun po i acted i decided na mag-enroll and i took action doon sa bawat natututunan ko po doon sa course I love what you said there. It just starts with a simple goal. Which, you know what, ladies and gentlemen, usually ang journey natin in life whenever there's a project that we want to start with, it really starts with a simple goal, like a simple desire. Gusto kong bumili ng laptop. Gusto ko ng sarili kong laptop. That alone, um, it may be a lofty goal, goal for you at that time, pero eventually, ano eh, mag- you will look back and say, wow, dati gusto ko lang ng laptop. Ngayon, ano na, something else. Right? You get bigger and bigger and even your ambitions go higher and higher and it's nice to look back where you, where you started from. So I congratulate you, Ms. Rizal. Rizal Bonita Collado. I'm new here and I want to start my freelancing career but I don't know where to start. You know what? You have already started by simply telling everybody that you are here. So thank you very much for joining us, Ms. Rizal. The first start is, ito, makinig ka, makinig ka, and join us and ask questions because those are fundamentals of a freelancer. Maraming mga freelancers na medyo nahihirapan kasi ayaw nilang magtanong. Okay? So just ask. And I, I might be intimidating saying, wag kayong magtanong ng simpleng tatong. I might be intimidating by, by saying that, but sinasabi ko lang yan. Okay, magtanong lang kayo kung gusto niyo. <laughs> let me go to to Mildred. Mildred, let me ask you a a different question. Uh, when you have a difficult client uh, and you need to give it up, What was your experience then? Were you did you burn bridges or were you able to keep a good relationship with this difficult client? Um uh, definitely I keep a good relationship. Um actually for uh the first client that I have attitude wise okay siya. However, uh, unreliable and missing in action. Yung yung panahon na ng sahod, uh, hindi mo na makontak, yung wala ng communication. And then hindi ko alam kung babayaran ba ako dun sa effort ko, dun sa mm. <laughs> trabaho ng ginawa ko. So, Mm-mm. medyo unreliable siya. Pero um attitude okay siya and and lahat ng natutunan ko, una kong trabaho sa kanya is yung mag magmamay ng data. So, siya yung nagturo sa akin, siya yung nagturo ng mga tools na gagamitin. And I, I was very thankful. Kaso lang yung, uh, yung bayad, and merong, merong last bayad na hindi niya naibigay. However, I did not, ano, uh, I, I did not uh, uh, send him uh, mga yung hate words. Wala, wala. Okay lang din ako. Then, uh, after a few months, nung meron akong second client, Uh, yun ngang post ko, nagkabalikan kami ng first client ko. Kasi bumalik ulit siya at ang email niya, I need someone like you. Uh, can, can you replicate can you replicate yourself? Parang, ano? Anong gagawin ko? So, medyo meron na, nag-sorry siya, nagbayad ulit siya, medyo may problema siya sa, sa business niya. So, naintindihan ko yun. And then, binayaran niyo yung last work ko and then nag-start ulit ako ng work sa kanya. So, um, hindi mo siya pwedeng, kumbaga kahit ano pang problema mo sa kliyente mo, never burn bridges because hindi mo alam kung anong mangyayari in the future. Hindi mo alam na um, siya pala ulit yung magbibigay sa'yo ng work in the future. Meron lang pala talaga siyang problema or meron siyang mga pinagdadaanan. So, you always have to understand them para um, kumbaga kahit kahit uh, agrabyado ka ng konti, um, ano, uh, you, have, you still have to understand kasi hindi mo alam. Uh, bilog ang mundo, kumbaga. So, hindi mo alam kung anong mangyayari in the future. Ganon. I love that. And that needs to be from a teacher who has tolerated kids na ano? Na <laughs> oh, actually, <laughs> I'm teaching college students. So, hindi ko, okay. hindi ko kaya yung mag-teach ng elementary and high school, but I'm teaching college students. So, and uh, very relatable siya when it comes to um, having relationship. No, You don't have to uh, kan, yung magtatanim ka ng ano. You have to forgive, forget, and then move on. Ganun siya. 
Oh yeah, most definitely. Oh, buti naman. I'm glad that you 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 said that because in your career, ganyan din naman, right? After teaching the kids who who might be rebellious at you, who might have spoken against you, you just need to forgive, forget, and then next student let. So that's a that's a good practice that you that you do in your career and now it translates to freelancing. I had ladies and gentlemen, katulad din din yo, if you were broken hearted so many times, then you had nothing else to do but forgive, forget and then move on to the next boyfriend, girlfriend. Right? <laughs> so I got that. No, I'm I'm just kidding, but the practice is still there, ladies and gentlemen. You try not to bri to burn bridges because you will never know if they will come back for you, right? Uh, uh, and they could even be better. Who knows? May natutunan sila sayo. They they might have improved, right? Mahirap pa rin. And also, uh, the world is small, ladies and gentlemen. In my experience, may nangyari sa akin na uh, uh, I ditched one of my clients. I dropped one of my clients. And unfortunately, yung yung ano yung isang client ko na bago was a friend of my of that client that I dropped. Right, so yon maliit ang mundo. Hindi natin alam if uh, they will come to serve us or work against us. So the best thing we can do is not to burn bridges and be just be a good person. Okay, let me go to D. D, uh, with your oh my goodness, more than a decade of experience. With your more than a decade <laughs> of experience, I'm sure that you have encountered many difficult clients that. Um, you didn't even realize that they were difficult from the start, right? Some yeah, some of them yeah. just, yeah, some of them just gradually turned sure. out to be someone you don't, you just don't want to work with. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. with that in mind, how are you able to filter them out from the? Uh, would you be, are do you have any like um, red flags that you want yes. to watch out? for for these types of clients could you share us a bit about that mm -hmm. very very good question um to start off uh fortunately uh during over 10 years of freelancing i would say minority lang yung clients i've met who were difficult clients or toxic clients there's a lot of good people out there so i always tell my mentees i've done mentorship all for free um and i do it because i i love teaching but i always tell my mentees that there are so many amazing, amazing clients out there, especially if you continue to upskill as you should always, and you don't have to tolerate difficult clients because most of them are amazing. Um, and going back to your question, um, I only, because I haven't actually, I've experienced a lot of clients, but only a minority have been uh, toxic. Uh, there was one particular client who, uh, the red flag now looking back, and I didn't know at that time, was that we were asked to do lead gen and we were supposed to call telecoms companies and find um, buyers, which I was able to do. But then so sales pipeline, the leads would just stay there, which is suspicious, right? Because mm -hmm. if you hired us to find leads, how come in the pipeline and we're supposed to get commission, how come they just stay there? And I started to get suspicious that you don't pay mm. um, appointment setters and then only to let the lead sit there. It was because they were just paying us to find leads and then they would sell the data or whatever it was they were doing. So they lied to us. So there was never going to be any commission. So that was the only very toxic clients. And then they asked us to make fake LinkedIn accounts using fake names. So there's a red flag. Um, another red flag, and this I personally never fell for, but I know a lot of people do, so it bears um, repeating that if any client asks you to pay money, that mm. is a big red flag because you're not supposed to be oh, paying yeah. your clients money, right? I was yeah. talking to a friend today, a Filipina in Thailand, um, and an old friend. She said that her first experience, ganon, um, and she was more naive then, um, they could know job interview, and then during the interview, they asked her to pay $150, and they were going to pay her back now after, which is so suspicious. So that's the, the biggest red flag I'd say. You, you mm. shouldn't be paying your clients. <laughs> they should be paying you. Oh, oh my goodness. I... I uh... I mean, uh, over the years, uh, over the years, the we have encountered um, people who still pay, who fall victim to the to these kinds of um, scammers, and it, yeah, it, it's so sad because to us, we we can immediately see them, right? So experience that, and we can we can immediately see spot those those scammers. But for newbies, 
It is very unfortunate that even to this day, year 2021, a lot of them are still fooled by these scammers. So I am so glad that you mentioned that. Ladies and gentlemen, wag kalimutan. Kayo po ang pinabayaran. Kayo ang dapat bayaran. Right? Kaya nga tayo magtatrabaho para tayo ay bayaran. Hindi yung para ikaw itong magbabayad. Alright? Ladies and gentlemen, just, ang problema kasi, the, 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 ang problema kasi dito sa Pinas, ano, mag intern ka pa lang, ikaw pa itong magbabayad. Mga nurses, for example, they still have to pay for their internship. Yes, nurses, for example. OJT, uh, training nurses. Before they graduate, they have to uh, train and by training, they have to pay somebody for them to learn. Which is uh, very unfortunate kasi para, para, sa, para, sa, para sa akin, yung mga uh, OJT nila, it, it's not even serving them enough. It's not even giving them enough knowledge, wisdom, and experience to actually perform as an actual nurse. The nurses, for example. There's lang ang naisip ko kasi yun ang instantly pumasok sa akin when it comes to internship that they have to pay for that. Right? It, that doesn't work in freelancing. You can ask D. That doesn't work in freelancing. You should not pay for <laughs> to 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 work, right? You should not pay to be paid. Kahit nasasabihin nilang, oh, we are going to reimburse it and such and such and such. These are companies who built their business. For sure, they have money. The reason why they come to, yes. to freelancing platforms is because they have money to spend to pay for their freelancers. Nakahanda na yan. Nakapondo na yan. Kaya hindi pwede yung utang-utang utangin nila sa'yo yung, ano, yung, yung sahod mo. Right? Do not be fooled because a lot of you are still uh, fooled by that, especially mga newbies. So this is what I ask you, ladies and gentlemen, lalo kayong mga nakapagsimula na sa freelancing. If somebody comes near you and asks you what freelancing is, I hope, I really, really hope that you add this information na hindi ka dapat magbayad. Hindi dapat Ikaw ang babayaran. Kahit anong sabihin nila, kahit na i-reimburse nila or whatever excuse that they have or they have to pay taxes dahil sa... What's that excuse again? Because they live in a different country and you need to pay like some employment tax or something. Now, that's uh, that's bullshit. Okay? So I really, really hope, ladies and gentlemen, that you preach that word to everybody. Remind even those with experience, yung mga, especially mga nagsisimula pa lang eh. Mga nagsisimula pa lang, although they already landed a contract, if they apply for another contract, sometimes they forget the fundamentals, which is you do not pay to get paid. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let me quickly browse our, our comments. Then. Wow, ang dami mga, medyo maraming mga tanong. Steve, um, what, what, what music are you talking about? Could you please uh, let me know? Baka mayroong mga background music dyan na hindi ko alam. But let's go to Gabriel. Gabriel says, ako natakot ako if nagiging annoying na ako kasi yung first client ko, sobrang hirap ma-reach out. Tagal mag-reply. Okay. And the thing here is, hindi mo pa siya client kasi, it, so this is not a qual uh, qualified as a difficult client. However, it, uh, it's potential na ano, na ganito na siya. Ganito na siya for the, if you land a contract with this client, uh, there's a possibility na ganyan ang communication ninyo, yung it will take like a whole week before they will respond to you. I happen to be one of those kinds of people. Right? I only have like one day a week to read my messages. So, uh, you have to develop these habits na, na titignan mo kung ano ang situation niya. And my, my, my tip to you, Gabriel, is wag mo kasing iasa. Pag mag apply ka sa isang contract, wag mong iasa na aantayin mo siya na, na magre-respond sa'yo. Pag nag-apply ka sa kanya, be done with it, apply ka ulit sa iba. Right? Be done with it, apply ka ulit sa iba, and then kung sakaling nagsabay-sabay silang nag sa sa'yo, then that is good. Right? But you are actually saving yourself from the trouble. Dahil mahirap mag-antay. What if after 10 days sa kanilang sum sila sumagot? And you know what? Meron pa yung, is yung iba after a month bago kanila balikan. <laughs> sa dami din yung mga applicants or yung nag-aalanganin pa, pa lang sila na kaila kung kailangan nila ang freelancer or ang virtual assistant or not. It will it might take time. Alangan naman na natutunganga ka lang dyan. Right, Gabriel? So you have to just 
move on move on and apply to other i know other contracts and Rubilin. I saw VA Bootcamp's ads long time ago, but I don't open it because I don't know how, uh, I don't know freelancing that time. I thought it was just a scam. Then when I enrolled here, I saw the ads with kids. Sabi ko, ito yung nakikita kong ads before. Kaso hindi ko ino open. Well, this is kind of our fault, right? Rubilin, kasi it, it's, uh, I think our advertisement might not be compelling enough for you to to open so this is a challenge to us and to all the the vab staff if we are going to create other advertisements i guess it has to be even more compelling para ano para mabuksan mo agad but thank you for that insight and at all Clemen. Clemen says, how do you reach out po kung matagal mag-reply ang client? Oh, wow. So, another matagal mag-reply. Ilang beses mag-send ng message sa kanya and paano po ang mag-approach? Hmm. Mildred, since you you are the expert of patience? <laughs> <laughs> um, actually, I've, I've, I did not experience that. But uh, um, uh -huh. I think uh, you should, I mean, yung binanggit kanina na uh, do not dwell on that uh, one contract, okay? So mm. you have to move on to the other contracts. If you want to do a follow-up, I think once is enough. And mm. uh, then move on, no? Para hindi ka masaktan, huwag kang umasa. Mm. So you just have to move on and look for other contracts. Marami dyan, napakarami. So, but um, kung gusto mo talaga mag-follow-up, then uh, I think once is enough, then that's it. Para sa akin, ganun. Very good. I love that. Yan nga, discipline. Discipline ang sinabi ni, ni Rizal. It's not just about disciplining yourself, but you also have to discipline the people whom you want to communicate with. Sometimes, you have to teach people how they should communicate with you. So, if you reach out once, nag-follow up ka ng minsan, uh, that should be enough. Okay? Kung, sil kung silencio sila, do not waste your time anymore, any further. Go to the next people. Because like D said, there are so many fabulous and gentle people out there who are willing to, to communicate with you, to be with you, right? So, wag natin, kung, kung feeling natin na they're just leading you on, then leave it be. Hayaan nyo sila. Goodbye. Next. Ganun lang. If they happen to come back to you and say, oh, hi, I'm sorry, matagal na hindi ako nag-respond then, well, that's good, right? That is good. But, Otherwise, do not invest so much on uh, on one particular client. Mm -hmm. Yeah, do not invest so much, yeah. uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, uh, yes, it's a freelance contract, not a marriage contract. Wow. Yes, that's true. It's a it's a freelance contract, not a, not a marriage contract. You're, <laughs> I love. I really love that. Uh, here, uh, Rizal. Rizal, thank you very much for asking this, but um, stand by ka lang. Anne is going to explain everything to you a little later on, okay? Stand by ka lang. Basta dito ka lang muna. Tambay-tambay lang muna tayo dito. And we also have, okay, another question here. Hi, Po. Good evening. Can you please share an example of a good resume to win clients? I'm a newbie in this VA world, been in corporate for a long time, and I thought I have a good resume. Pero parang di masyadong napapansin yung citizen ko. I'm going to send this to Aurea because uh, she's been in corporate for quite some, quite some time. Could you give uh, us a short tip about this? Mm -hmm. um, ako po, honestly, um, wala din po kong... Uh, uh, idea sa uh, good cover letter as we call it dito po sa freelancing and then when I joined VA Bootcamp po um, after ko po matapos yung course, nagjoin din ako sa Guided Hustle Challenge so um, doon po tinuruan din kami uh, deeply kung paano magpas ng, magcompose at magpas ng CL ng cover letter um, yun yung kinatawag natin na resume sa corporate world. Mm -hmm. And um, very different po siya, yung approach niya. Because in corporate, um, we always center the resume, the contents of the resume about ourselves po. Di po ba? Yung mga um, achievements natin sa school, past experiences sa job, and whatever. Hanggang sa dami ng pages ng resume mo, meron ka pang... Um, Refer uh, references, character references, di ba? <laughs> well, oh, in, yeah. 
in a in a ano po, cover letter po. Um just a sh- mas shorter, mas better. Yun po yung laging sinasabi sa amin ng mga ng mga coaches. But kahit na short po siya, kailangan direct naka-indicate kung ano yung maitutulong ninyo doon kay client or kay company more than sa kung ano yung mga achievements mo. Because they always say po, yung mga coaches, they always say na walang pakialam si client kung ano yung kung valedictorian ka. Kung, though, it's a, it's a great um, uh, advantage kasi nga po, kung cum laude ka, kung valedictorian ka, you're smart enough to be hired. Pero kung ang una nilang titignan is how they will benefit from you. Kung ano yung maibibigay ninyo dun sa sa company or dun sa client. So, mas doon sila na-attract more than po dun sa achievements mo from from your school or from your past job. So, yun po yung main na lagi kong natatandaan dun sa from uh, Guided Hustle Challenge. And it really it really works po. Because um, upon sending, nung, nire, nung binago ko yung content ng mga cover mm-hmm. letters ko, first and second na passing ko ng cover letters, may mga nag um, nagreply na po agad na nagreach out na client very good very good yes ladies and gentlemen the mindset kasi kapag nasanay ka sa corporate of course you got this blah 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 cv you got this bio data kailang magandang picture mo and whatever and dami and dami mga character reference <laughs> mga, mga ganyan and dami to many clients, ladies and gentlemen, they don't really care about that. So if you happen to be cum laude, summa cum laude, I think that you are smart enough to be able to say that you are a cum laude without saying that you are a cum laude. But I think you can handle that. Let your clients know you organically. Okay? For the meantime, when you are writing your cover letters, it should be all about them. It should be all about them, not about you. It's all about how you will solve their problem. It's all about their problem and the solutions that you can propose so that they will be attracted to you and hire you. Wala silang pakialam if you graduated this, if you studied in here, and if you are blah, blah, blah. They don't really care because some of them aren't even aware of what's happening here in the Philippines. Even if you said University of the Philippines, uh, ano yun? Para, <laughs> what the hell is that? Yeah, they can say that. True. Right? Some of them are even... Uh, I haven't even graduated, right? These are business people. Hindi sila, hindi nila kailangan na mag-graduate ng, ng whatever course para sila, para sila makapagpatayo ng business. All that mattered was they had the money, they have a vision, and they need your help. So why the hell are you, are you still talking about your accomplishments that isn't even relevant? Okay? That's a change of mindset, ladies and gentlemen. Kailangan baguhin natin yan. The way we approach people is far different here in freelance rather than in corporate. Sabi ni uh, Rubilin, In my experience, sa pag-reach out ng clients, pag hindi sila nagme-message, nahihiya rin ako. Pero tinatry ko pa rin uh, pag hindi pa sila nagme-message. Like now, hindi pa rin sila nagme-message. Ako rin, hindi pa. Rin, hindi pa. Pero baka mamaya na lang. Again, Rubilin, you have to discipline people on how they should approach to you. So, yung, yung sinabi nga, mag-respond ka, minsan, that's it. And then, move on to the next. Apply, 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 apply. Wag nating sanayan ang sarili natin. I think this is what's going on in, in the corporate world din kasi eh. You know, like, uh, you go to their office, you apply, you send your resume, and then you sit there for the whole day and wait for them to either accept you or reject you. I think that's what's happening in the corporate world kasi. That is another thing that is another thing that we need to switch off here in freelance. Dito sa freelance time is precious. And you need to realize that. You need to realize that your time is expensive. So why waste your time sitting there waiting for your client to, for this potential client potential. Hindi pa sila client ah, potential client to come to you. No, you have to teach them to res- to, that uh, if they are not going to respond to you immediately, then you will, you will end up talking to other people. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Rubilin, I hope, uh, I hope that you get to learn this uh, discipline, like, uh, uh, like Mildred said. Discipline is not just about yourself, disciplining yourself, it's discipline, taking control of 
your surroundings, including the people that you are communicating with. Okay? Uh, let me shout out to uh, D. Dahil nagbigay ng compliment si Glenn. Pag ako, 10 years na ganyan na rin, 10 years na ganyan na rin siguro ang accent ko. <laughs> yes, uh, uh, her English is really, really nice. I, I, and I love her voice, the way she, I, I love the way you, you present yourself to, to the camera. Oh, thank okay, you. Uh, um, I just want to add though, because I don't want yes, people go ahead. to feel, um, thank you. I don't want people to feel like, oh, you can only um, do really well if you talk with an American accent. You do not need an American accent. I lived in California, which is why I have this accent. So <laughs> in better English is um, just, you know, getting your grammar right, talking clearly. You do not need an American accent. Just um, That's just my advice because there are some people who get intimidated because they think, oh, I have to develop an American accent. Depending on the job you want, obviously, if you want to call people and you're expected to face clients and sell products in the U.S., then obviously. But most jobs, like being a VA, a social media content creator, you don't. So I just wanted to put it out there because it's not a um, necessary skill um, for most jobs that we Filipinos love to take on online. I love yeah, that you I, said I would that. Like, I would like yes, to add uh, as Thank well you. because um, there are so many uh, people that are sending me PMs um, pag nagpo-post ako sa Flip. So maraming nagtatanong and then ini-encourage ko sila na you go, uh, try it and learn. Pero sasabihin nila, hindi kasi ako marunong mag-English. Hindi kasi magaling yung English ko. Mm. Um, mm. Natatakot ako. Uh, lagi ko sinasabi sa kanila, um, as long as the client understands what you are saying, alam nila, uh, you don't have to be ashamed of our, our accent. Actually, ang Pinoy, yes. walang accent. Walang Pinoy ang accent. Straight tayo. Uh, medyo sa iba lang na yung may strong accent ng mga regions. Pero uh, wala tayong accent. And mas gusto nga ni client yun eh. Uh, mas gusto nila yung conversational. Hindi mo kailangan gayahin sila kasi actually ako, hindi ko type yung accent nila na hindi masyadong naiintindihan, parang kinakain yung words, yung ganun. Mm -hmm. Maging clear ka lang, uh, confident kang humarap sa kanila and uh, yun, ma maintindihan ka. Kahit naman balubaluktot ang English mo, maintindihan nila. Ganun yun. La lalo na ako, nasa Mindanao ako, medyo matigas yung ano ko. Uh, by, by the way, mm. hindi ko nasabi kanina, nasa Mindanao ako. And... Um, Yung, yung minsan pag nagtatagalog ka, hindi rin, uh, medyo nahihirapan ako sa Tagalog. But then in English, uh, wala akong pake if, if, if uh, mali yung, yung PNF ko, nagkabaliktad, yung BNP. Mm -hmm. As long as they are mm -hmm. able to understand me, we are able to communicate, we are able to understand what we are going to do, then that's fine, di ba? So uh, you don't have to make that as a barrier. No, you have to... Um push yourself. Yes. Pero hindi ko rin sinasabing aralin mo, di ba? Hindi mo aralin. So you yes. still also have to improve yourself. But mm, don't make 100%. it as a barrier. Yeah. I, I agree. And I'd like to add that even though I said yes, you don't have to have an American accent at all. Don't stress about that. Um, having great uh, English communication skills will increase your pay grade. But again, that doesn't involve the accent. It's about reading in English, thinking in English, talking to your friends in English, and ignoring those friends who make fun of you because you're trying mm. to figure it out. <laughs> mm -mm. Mm -mm. Ooh, I, I, I so love that you guys pointed that out. Le uh, ladies and gentlemen, ang English kasi, English proficiency doesn't require you to have an accent. Yung sabi ka, it doesn't, <laughs> wala talaga, wala. wala. Kahit na anong gawin mo sa, sa freelance, your accent is irrelevant. So hold on, let me just throw this stupid noisy phone but yeah uh I, I love that you guys pointed that out ladies and gentlemen confidence level natin ang kailangan pagdating sa ingles ano marami sa atin itong sinasabi na hindi tayo marunong mag ingles hindi tayo magaling mag ingles it's because you are imagining somebody who's like like d here some that you are talking to a person like this and you uh, uh, and you expect to respond the same way tip ko lang ha uh, sa ating mga pilipino one of our biggest weaknesses is the tenses. The tenses, the past tense and the future tense. Yon, dun tayo maraming pagkakamale. The past tense and the uh, the past tense, future tense, and present tense. And that is what uh, that is one thing that could get us into trouble because tapos na ginawa ko na versus gagawin ko palang are two very very different things. So we just have to be a bit more aware of that, those tenses, and I think you will be fine. 
never mind the accent. Hayaan nyo yung accent. As Mildred said, as Dee said, and I think with Aurea here, her, uh, she would agree that accent is irrelevant. So wag na, ta- na, wag na natin pangarapid yung accent, accent na yan. Let's yes. focus on, on, on grammar. And once we are mm-hmm. done with that, pag okay na, then sure, sige. Yeah. Actually, after after grammar, what I completely agree with you. After that, not even accent, vocabulary. Yeah. Increase your vocabulary, <laughs> and then well, you're, you're, you you'll sound even better than most Americans I talk to because um, honestly, oh, a lot yes. of them have limited vocabulary. The British have good vocabulary. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, yes. The Brit- the Brits are good uh, with their vocabulary because well, it originated there. But yeah, and that's their training, by the way. Linguaje de la yon. So ma- magaling talaga sila. Well, with the Americans, parang they keep on breaking their grammar rules. Kaya parang sige, hayaan mo lang. Ang, ang kagandahan, ladies and gentlemen, is you will eventually get better the more you communicate with your client. right? To, so do not be afraid to communicate with your client. If they want you to have a video meeting, do not be afraid to do that because you will eventually adopt their whatever their accent is whatever their vocab is what jargon they are using you will eventually absorb that and you will be a better person to communicate with okay practice lang yan sige lang gawin mo lang don't worry about mistakes if you made a mistake laugh it off and move on hayaan mo na what's important is your client uh understands you okay yung point mo yung point mo nakuha niya once you are done with that, everything is everything else is good. Okay, so do not be afraid with your English accent. Same thing with uh, Rizel here. I am a corporate employee for almost five years. Can I work as a VA if I have no work experience related to it? I think many of these people have already expressed, ladies and gentlemen, at uh, Rizel, uh, ang panel natin na na nila na they were able to work. They're able to work regardless of where what their background is. They are able to work. You know why, Rizel? In freelance, it is all about what skill you can offer. It's not about what they demand you to do. Kasi sa corporate yan. Sa corporate yung kanyan, what they demand you to do. What they will teach you to do. What they expect out of you. Thing, the thing about freelance is it's kind of a, it's a business, right? So what are you going to sell? In a business world, what are you going to sell? Ano ang meron sayo? What can you do that you can make money out of? Can you write? Can you write? Then you can make money out of that. Can you type fast? You can make money out of that. Right? Can you, can you post some stuff on Facebook? Then you can make money out of that. Are you good at rearranging your layout? Then Instagram posting there? Marami kang mga pagpeperahan dyan. That is what freelancing is. It's not about what they require you to do. It's all about what you can actually offer them. Okay? Focus on that result and you will do well. Okay. Um, medyo marami mga tanong pero uh, I promised something to our intern na ano, uh, pag ganito na, na nai-interview ka, pag minsan, biglahan, may tatanungin sila, is there anything you'd like to ask? So how about you, Anne? Uh, how about you take advantage of our panel here? Kung ano ang gusto mong tanungin sa kanila. Nakamute ka, Anne. Sir Phoenix, clarify ko lang. Kasi ang kanina, uh, so uh, magko-question ako as applicant, right? Sa ating mga guests. Yeah. Okay, mali yung understanding ko kanina. <laughs> so, um, as an applicant, um, God. <laughs> well, ako. It's okay, um, take your time. Um, how would you like me to help you in uh, in in this project? Uh, I'm applying uh to help you uh how to help you out in this um project uh what kind of um what what kind of help you think you needed so i can uh um show it to you during this discussion okay good question good, <laughs> good question d do you think that question is good enough 
Yes, because she came from a place of value. Like you said, I completely agree. It's about what you can do for your client. It's a great question. Very good. Thank you. Thank you for that. Mildred, what's your opinion on that question? Um, I think I, I agree and I can, um, I think for the newbies na nanonood, they should always keep that question in mind. What you can do and what you need help from your client. So um, whenever we work with a client kasi, hindi natin, uh, aaminin ko, hindi natin alam lahat. Okay? So may pinapagawang bago. You have to voice out. Uh, okay din yung nagre-research ka, tinitingnan mo kung paano gagawin. But then you also have to ask uh, clarif cl clarifying questions like, what do I know? What, what, what do you want this uh, project to be? Para uh, yung, yung alam ng client na kailangan mo din ng tulong. Kasi minsan naghihintay lang din sila na nag-ask nag ka ng help. So pag hindi ka nag-ask ng help, hindi ka matutulungan. So para sa mga newbies, you have to keep that uh, question in mind. Uh, anong kailangan mong tulong? Or ano din ang may magagawa mo, may tutulong mo sa company for, for the company to grow? Uh, and, and vice versa. So that's a very good question. Very nice. Thank you very much for that. Um, well explained as a teacher pa rin talaga, ha? I, I love that. And what about you, Aurea? <laughs> what do you think of that question? Yes, oo, Mildred, nakit, may, may mga ano ka, may characteristics ka na lumalab, lumilitaw talaga yung pagka-teacher mo, which I love. I love that. I love that because that is who you are. Aurea, uh, what do you think of that question? Well, did that question pass? Uh, is that question good enough for you? Yeah, po. Opo. Uh, actually, ex Exactly po, yun yung talagang hinihintay na question ni client. Um, kasi um, naaalala ko doon sa question na yun is halimbawa, ang client mo is doctor. And yung alam mong skill ay pang engineer. So kung ititilit mo na i-apply yung mga knowledge mo for engineering, it will never or hindi siya makaka-affect doon sa doctor mong uh, prospect client. Dahil hindi niya, ang kailangan niya is about medical. Hindi niya kailangan, mm -hmm. hindi niya kailangan yung mga bagay about construction or whatever. Mm -hmm. So, uh, kung pipilit mo na ibigay yung mga facts about building, sasabihin sa'yo ng doctor, uh, kailangan ko magamot ng tao, hindi ng buildings. <laughs> so, that's where, that, doon, doon as, as flexible as we are, we should be as we should be. So, kung ang kailangan ng doctor is health facts, we will research on search facts and then give it to our prospect client. Kaysa ipipilit mo yung mga knowledge natin about construction, <laughs> construction hmm. materials, which is hindi niya talaga magagamit. So, yun po yung naisip ko dun sa question na you, we have to know our clients well to serve them well. As, uh, to serve Very them nice. Well as well. Very nice. And ladies and gentlemen, sinasabi namin mag-research ka, mag-research ka, but sometimes it is also good to actually ask the client kung ano ang gusto nila sa'yo. Anong gusto nilang mangyari? Ano bang gusto nila sa project na yan? So that you will have a better understanding. Because sometimes, when you, do, when you are doing your research, your mind could, could go elsewhere. And you might misinterpret the objective, the vision of, of, the, of the prospective client. So you have to make it clear. Katulad ni Anne, iba yung assumption niya sa, tina, sa task na binigay ko sa kanya kanina. And now that it was clarified, nag-isip siya. But be like Anne as well. Be like Anne here na, na kahit na iba yung nasa isip niya, she was still able to adjust and come up with a question that is required out of the context that I, that I asked. With that in mind, Anne, how about you do your job? Do it quickly, ha? Huh? All right, so meron lang tayong counting announcement. But naka black screen. Oh, wait. Bakit naka? <laughs> no, wait, sir. Uh, bakit naka black screen? Um, ano ka? Share ko na lang ulit, sir. Yes, yeah, stop sharing and then share again. Okay. Good. Ganda sana ng flow pero kinabahan na naman si Ann, no? <laughs> oh my God, I'm learning naman. It's okay. It happens. It happens. Ganyan talaga. Um, my God. 
Open, open your album. Okay, just click on the image. You know what, ladies and gentlemen, I lo- this is why I love uh, bringing interns here. Sige lang, and you, you just do your thing. Sige. Uh, you know what, ladies and gentlemen, I, I, this is why I love bringing interns here and doing this. Kasi pagminsan, you know, in actual interviews, they could ask you to do some tasks. And what are you going to do if something goes awry? Pag, pag palpak ito, hindi mo magawa ito, something like that. And this is uh, what I want interns to experience. Kasi, what if ganyan nga? You need to reboot your computer, for example. <laughs> if you if you are rec- if you need to do that to to fix all of your problems, then you just have to do you just have to do it. And are you okay now? Yeah, I'm okay now. Okay, go. <laughs> all right, so we'll go on our announcement. So we'll have wait, 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 wait. So um, our coming just success will be this. Wait, wait, wait. Hindi <laughs> kasi makita. Ayan. Relax ka lang. So, Relax <laughs> so for our next coming just success, former finance and property specialist now earns dollars without the risk of exposure in COVID. So that would be on November 24 with Mr. Ramel Lawrence Geralde, 6 p.m. And for our flip chat in chill again, essential skills to learn if you want to work in the e-commerce industry with still Miss uh, Phoenix on November 29, 6 p.m. din yan. And for our flip up skill, learn how to build a surprisingly stunning WordPress website. This will be on December 4, 10 to 12 noon with Glenn Galliarde. And for our Black Friday, we have something for you, BAB.PH last, BAB 2021. So if gusto nyo mag-enroll sa ating BA Bootcamp, uh, just search on www.babootcamp.ph slash enroll. So lifetime access na yan. And we have the uh, BA Bootcamp package. So Apat yan, pagpipilian natin, we have the skills only package, which is 3,890. Get hired package for 4,990. Skills and get hired accelerated package for 7,990. And the complete package for 19,990. And we also have the individual courses. That uh, First one is the better English for online success. 1490 getting started with blogging 1490 bookkeeping and quickbooks for beginners 2990 email marketing mechanics 2990 freelance writing for beginners 2990 seo the way google likes it 2990 social media for business management and marketing 2990 websites 101 wordpress html 2990 e-commerce virtual assistance 2990 and if you don't ha- uh if hindi pa kayo ganun ka uh ka uh, sigurado sa mag uh, mag enroll you can also start with our BA bootcamp pre courses we have virtual assistance SEO for beginners social media management e-commerce virtual assistance intro to next level freelancing Intro to lead generation, email marketing, better English, bookkeeping, web design, and writing. And we want to greet Miss Marianne. Happy birthday from our BA Bootcamp family. And that's all. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Very good. Good job. Good job, Anne. Kahit na medyo ano, rough, rough start, but you did well. Very good. Very good. Congratulations. All right. Oh, ayan, ladies and gentlemen, I hope that you enjoyed our our session for tonight. Not so seven. We are a little past seven p.m. already. So, how about let me ask everybody here, sa panel, uh, with your experience, what what is the biggest advice that you can give to our audiences today? And if there's anything that you'd like to advertise, now is the time. Kung meron din kayong ipapa shout out, yes, go ahead and do it. Let me start with Miss Oria. Um, yun po, um, lagi ko pong sinasabi dun sa mga nag-aalangan pa to start um, the freelancing career. Um, nung una po, nags- yun yung 
sabi ko po kanina, nag-start lang din po ako doon sa desire na makapagtrabaho sa bahay. Yun po. So, lagi i-sinet i- ko yung mind ko na regardless of how difficult na yung my experience ko, gano'n man kadami na walang tulog, gano'n man kadami yung iyak <laughs> na my experience ko, I see to it na continuously akong matutu- mag- matututo kung kaya kong mag-enroll sa mga courses, mag enroll ako unti-unti. Dahil kaya nating matuto ng wala tayong mga trainings, paid trainings, ganyan. But mas matagal yung process. Kung gusto mo na mas mabilis at uh, mas effective na process, you can re- you have to decide and take action kung mag, uh, mag-course ka. Dahil sa course, simula umpisa, kahit zero knowledge ka pa, hanggang sa maka- maka-reach ka na magkaroon ka ng client, there will be guidance. May, may proper guidance, may proper support, at yung connection, yun yung hindi talaga po mababayaran. Regardless kung magaling. Ako po, hindi ako, uh, two years lang po ako sa college. Um, hindi ako uh, four-year course, two years course po ako. And yun yung pinaka- Um, laging ano ko, um, uh, ang tawag dito, lagi po siyang nagda-down sa akin dahil kapag mag-apply ako sa mga corporate jobs, lagi po akong um, hindi natat- uh, most of the time hindi ako natatanggap doon sa mga office, ganyan, kasi they prefer uh, for your courser. So, nag ako na um, Lord, sabi ko, nag ako na, Lord, um, I want a job that pays well at the same time, hindi degrading. And freelancing hmm. is, yeah, freelancing po is really the answer. Um, lalo na yung mga foreign clients natin. Hindi rin po ako magaling sa English, kung mapapansin ninyo. <laughs> hindi ako masyado nag-English. Pero pagka kausap ko si client, which is Australian, um, I communicate well. Nagugulat din po ako sa, ano, sa, sa sarili ko na kapag kausap ko siya, um, nagko-communicate kami ng maayos. And ang lagi ko lang pong ginagawa is, confirm, ask questions kung tama itong ginagawa ko before ko simulan. Kino-confirm ko sa kanya palagi. Hindi ako nat- natatakot magtanong. And mas gusto yun ni client. Kaysa yung um, nagmarunong ka, yung result ay mali, ulit na naman tayo sa umpisa. So, yun lang po. Huwag po tayong matakot. Um, basta you have that desire, walang imposible pa. Walang hindi magagawa at walang hindi makakaya. Wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> na na naman ang puso ko sa'yo, Oria. I, I love that. Thank you. Thank you very much for sharing that. Is there anything you'd like to advertise or meron kang ipapashout out? Baka may magtatampo. Um, <laughs> oh, well, advertise pa wala naman. Meron na po akong Facebook page. Um, uh, Aurea Samonte, you can search that po. Tsaka po sa Instagram. Um, follow po natin each other. Let's support each other po. And shout out po Good. sa... No- sa November content creation po. <laughs> so, nandun po ako ngayon. Ganun din, ganun din po sa November flip interns noong 2020 and um, admin interns and guided hustle challenge na mga kabatch ko po. Shout out po sa inyo lahat. Saka po sa mga coaches, sobrang laking tulong po nila. Simula na nag-start ako sa VA Bootcamp. Hanggang ngayon, nakokonta ko po sila lahat. Nagugulo ko sila lahat. And I'm very thankful po. And yun po yung Uh, ginagawa ko po in return, paying it forward na pag may mga nag, nag-reach out po sa akin, pag may time po talaga, we really see to it na nagre-reply po talaga kami. Yun I love po. that. I love that. I, I can tell it comes from the heart. Ako mismo parang, ooh, okay. So, so I, I really love that you are that you are spreading the word. I love that you are sharing your experience as well. And you are doing it very eloquently. And it is so, so nice, Miss Oria. I'm so glad that you are here with us tonight. And I hope that, that you get to join us again some other time. Okay. Thank you. Mildred, what about you? Um, I, I like what Oria said and uh, also um, ang pinaka-advice ko lang talaga na maibibigay is that you should always have a, a goal. Kasi pag wala kang goal, uh, madidistract at madidistract ka and, and, uh, and hindi mo magagawa yung gusto mong gawin. So if you have a goal, kahit madistract ka, you can always go back to your main, main goal. 
and never stop learning. Never stop learning. Kahit ako, uh, actually, ngayon, naka-break ako from freelancing because I am working on my uh, thesis on master's degree. So, uh, medyo, ano ako, uh, sa edad kong to, dami nagka-question, ma'am, bakit nag-aaral ka pa? Lalo na yung family. Minsan yung family ang ano eh, yung, yung bang mga kontrabida. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> bakit nag-aaral ka pa rin? Ba't nag Parang, uh, pang, parang uh, kasi hindi naman talaga education ng course ko ng college. Tapos, nag-aaral ako. To, uh, nag, nagtrabaho ko sa call center for eight years. After that, naisipan kong mag-aral, magkumuha ng education. And then, nag-aaral na naman ako to take the let na na-cancel lang. And then, ngayon, nagmamasters. Ba't hindi ka ta- magtitigil sa pag-aaral? Kulang pa ba? Yes, kulang pa. Never stop learning. Ganyan din sa freelancing. Never stop learning. Kahit pa, uh, uh, siguro si D masasabi din niya na uh, even if, she has 15 years of experience. I'm sure uh, she is still willing. She is still uh, learning. She is still uh, uh, checking out on other uh, you know, skills, diba? Because uh, if if wala kang skill, if you you stop learning, it's like you're dead also. Na wala, wala kang, ano, wala kang naidagdag sa sarili mo. Wala kang naidagdag na value. Uh, yun din lagi kung sinasabi sa mga students ko. You, you always have to find ways. Lalo na ngayon, yung parang wala kasi kami internet wala hindi ka makapag-check no you have to find ways no you always yes. have to find ways minsan sabihin ko BDO lang yan BDO we find ways di ba mm-hmm. <laughs> so uh, sa mga newbies wag kayong mawala ng pag-asa kasi ako nag-start ako from zero uh, i learned hindi lang ako nag hindi, hindi ko kayang uh, gastuhan uh, hindi ko kayang tustusan yung pag-enroll ng paid uh, VA bootcamp but there are free mm. there are free courses na ino offer you have to take advantage of that uh, para uh, you can you can have skills na kahit sinong client yan and you don't have to uh, i mean yung sinabi kanina na uh, you have to present yourself on what you can do not what they require of you diba kasi you can choose naman eh napakaraming choices but ka but may pipil sa sarili mo diyan kung kung hindi mo kaya, di ba? You have to oh, find yeah. a way. Ang da- dami talagang paraan. So, never stop learning. You always have a goal. Discipline. Self-discipline yun ang kailangan natin. Yun lang. Thanks. I love that. Ooh. Ang, itong gusto ko sa flip chat until I get to encounter many different types of people. Like like Mildred here. Uh, Mildred is, yun nga, lumalabas yung pagka-teacher niya, which is very, very nice because you you tend to listen to to these people when they speak like this. And I that's why I love it. Mildred, meron ka bang ipapa-shout out or meron kang advertisement? Oh, actually, wala, wala akong advertisement. Pero sa mga, kung, kung students ko kayo, sabihin ko siya mag-subscribe kayo sa channel ko sa YouTube. But <laughs> not related because it's about my subject. So, hindi nyo, hindi mm-hmm. nyo kailangan siya. Anyway, wala. Uh, salamat at uh, I'm very thankful. Actually, before I was invited, uh, hindi lang ako confident pa masyado before. Mm-hmm. But now, uh, I agreed to it because... Uh, I feel like I have to you know, share something, especially the topic para sa mga newbies. Kasi nagdaan din ako sa mag-attend ng mga ganitong live. Uh, mm. Pinagdaanan ko to. So, magandang makapag-share. Uh, parang in a way, ano na rin, paying it forward para sa mga yung lahat ng tumulong sa akin, uh, kahit pa paano, sana may naitulong din ka, ako at tayo ngayon, ngayong gabi na to. Oh, most definitely. Most definitely. I think our audiences would agree. Marami kayong natutunan din kay Miss Mildred. Although kahit maliit lang na oras ang naibigay ko sa inyong lahat kayong, mga, kayong nasa panel, I apologize for that. But I think everything that you have said uh, have inspired one, if not many, of our audiences. Okay, thank you very much, Miss Mildred, for joining us tonight. I hope that you get to join us again some other time. I am really, really looking forward to, to seeing more of you, the three of you. D. Finally, your turn. Hi. Um, yes, uh, Miss Mildred, your teaching experience really shines through and in a really great way, very inspiring. And I agree with Aurea and Mildred. It's really upskill. I've been, um, yes, I've been an online freelancer for over a decade, but last week I spent, I'd say, 
12 hours upskilling. Um, that means I wanted to play games. I wanted to watch YouTube for fun, but I decided to upskill because of crypto, of NFT, a blockchain. That is the not the future. That's already, it's a what how I would like to describe it. It's blockchain. It's a volcano that's already spewing. So we should already get in before it um, erupts in opportunity there's so much opportunity but long story short always upskill that would be my number one advice and another thing number two and why this is really close to my heart what also uh, mildred said about upskilling and oria also is that i i look at the comments of these filipino freelancing groups and it really breaks my heart when i see um oh you ma walang tulog dyan. Kamusta naman kayo? and i see a lot of comments people saying that they have four hours five hours of sleep at night while it's great you're working hard nothing against you i'm not judging you that's not good for your health so my point is if you upskill you will get to um get paid more which means you get to work less because it's, it's not about it's it's not just about yes you want to help your family yes you want to work hard but your health will suffer for sure four hours five hours a day so if you're doing it now i'm not judging you but what i'm saying is get out of that and you can get out of that by upskilling and that will involve yeah my ramming times i want to play games i want to watch youtube i just want to sleep but I decided that no, there is this opportunity in Web 3.0, which is blockchain. I will upscale sacrifice. So my point is there is that sacrifice is an order. But what you sacrifice now, you will reap the rewards later on. I saw a saying this week that also really um, stuck with me. It said, um, bleed during time of peace or suffer during time of peace. So you will bleed less during time of war. So if you need money, if there's emergency in your family, if knock on wood, you get sick, somebody gets sick and you have to, um, you can't work. If you had during times of prosperity, if you prepared, you're, um, you have a lot of skills, you have savings, especially freelancers, you guys, we all have to save and invest. Remember that. So prepare, prepare. That would be my, I know, prepare for the worst. As another smart person I followed online said, prepare for the worst because the best needs no preparation. So that's it for me. Um, and for shout out, I just I, I make free resources for online freelancers. There'll be more about blockchain because that's my new passion now. And I know there are yeah. so many opportunities for for um, us Filipino freelancers. You can be you don't need to be a developer. You can be a writer, a content creator in the blockchain space. Those pay really well because you have to upskill a lot. So just follow me on my blog. It's uh, cbddaily.com or find me on Facebook or Instagram, CBD Daily. I will um, please hold me accountable. I want to make more content regularly. I don't get paid for it and I have a day job. That's why I got really busy. But please hold me accountable because it really it, it warms my heart when I can give back, like what Mildred also said, um, just paying it forward. So thank you for having me here, uh, Flip. Yeah, you know what? Um, you know what? The one good thing about you is you keep on evolving. We keep on evolving. Over the years, you keep on evolving. And that is something that is so interesting to watch, especially for us who do not know you yet. To, the, to these people who do who do not know you yet, here you go. And yeah, cbddaily.com. There you go. Thank you. And you, you so I am hope. Yes, go ahead, D. Oh, I'm sorry. I just wanted to add that. that uh, thank you for that point. And the reason for that is over the years, the older you get, you also realize I used to be a writer and then you get tired, you get burned out, but you can take that yeah. skill and you can apply it to something else like with what I did marketing. So you can also do that. If you find out you don't like something, you get burned out, you can use the skills, find another way, see, follow the money as they say, diba? see where the opportunities are and what this, the skills you learned in the past, you can apply to new um, opportunities. So just keep an open mind. Thank you for pointing it out. The, another thing that I noticed about you is you are able to look back into where you came from. The th yeah, ladies and gentlemen, uh, when you w once you hit exp uh, years of experience in freelancing, sometimes we tend to forget our past, who we were before. And this is what I, I believe na believe ako kay, kay CBD Daily here because she was able to convey her feelings even to newbies. I, I I myself uh, sometimes forget na ano na may mga newbies akong audiences, may mga beginners akong audiences. So sometimes I for, I tend to speak at a level where I assume everybody already knows what I am talking about. But D here was able to convey whatever she whatever she wants to say. Lahat ng mga messages niya. It is something that is understood by everybody. So this is something that I admire about you, Miss D. And ah, 
glad I'm I'm so glad that you are here. Thank Something so that much. I want to thank you, thank you. I'm so glad that you are here. Really, uh, Carmi, good job for for hunting her. I love, <laughs> very very good job and uh, good job then at ang kamatch na intern has uh, uh, is doing well. She you're doing very very well and. So there, um, something that I want to tell you, the three of you, that uh, I, uh, I, I just don't want to repeat myself, but this is something that I personally want to tell you directly is, I am so inspired by what you, but what you guys have shared tonight, that I really want to give you like 30 minutes, 40 minutes of, of uh, like a special time for you guys to share your story or tell whatever you want to tell in our in our space to our audiences. So I I personally would like to invite you guys, the three of you, to join our Just Success episodes. The three of you, Aria, Mildred, CB, uh, D. Um, this is like an individual interview where you get to tell about your story, talk about who you are, where you where you came from, or or, or anything else that you want to, to to tell. So this is like almost an hour of an episode that it's just about you talking, okay? So I I hope that you get to join us. I hope that you will agree with with this because. Uh, ako mismo nabitin ako sa sinabi ninyo. right ladies and gentlemen audiences could you do you agree with that nakbitin eh bitin i know that during our flip chat and chill ako itong laging nagsasalita and i realized oh oh i i i have only given just a couple of minutes to Oria Mildred and 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 D to talk about what they have learned so i want uh, i am personally i apologize for that and i personally invite you to join our just success interviews uh, Carmi, bahala ka ng ano, mag, mag contact sa kanila. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this is our episode for tonight. Although we haven't uh, delved so much about our topic, how to handle a difficult uh, freelance client. However, ladies and gentlemen, I think we have given more than enough th that you need to be inspired and to work smarter as a uh -huh. freelancer because that is what we want. We don't want you to work very, very, very uh -huh. hard. Like, like D said, we don't want you to break your backs na uh, isa sacrifice nyo lahat para lang sa anak ninyo how, how about right right how about yung ano um we get to work we get to work hindi hindi kailangan maghirap and we are able, we will be able to support um, our family and achieve our goal reach our dream without having to break our backs yes. I actually yeah. I'm very glad you brought that up you mentioned the topic how to handle difficult client you said hindi natin masyado na cover I would like to add though that uh, the advice that you all gave which is we all said upskill how can you handle a difficult client by upskilling because you can quit anytime because you're so in demand oh yeah <laughs> yes yes i love that yeah exactly uh, i agree i agree 100 percent. right right oh, yeah. and upskill upskill and kaya ka nandito for you to learn a bit more and upskill a little bit more and you know what ladies and gentlemen by by saying upskill we are not forcing you to be uh, the cum laude Okay, we're not telling you to become this this grand thing, even just a little bit of improvement, even just a little bit of, of step further. It is still a step further, but consistent. Yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes. Just keep on doing and doing and doing it. And you know what? The good thing about upskilling on a daily basis, ladies and gentlemen, is um, meron ka ng, ano, self worth. You will develop this achievement. This uh, you will you will acknowledge that oh, you have improved. At least you were better than yesterday day and that builds confidence that helps you as a person hindi lang as a freelancer as a person it builds your confidence and you will be able to face the world with your head held high and yeah. you don't have to deal with difficult uh, difficult clients anymore because che kamo na lang mm. ganun hindi kita kailangan right? yes <laughs> I, I'm, that is so nice okay finally and uh oh yeah lagpas na tayo sa oras pero and uh, last question to you. What have you learned for tonight? Um, actually, a, a lot of learnings. Yung, 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 nga, yung upskill, which is yung dahil nasa corporate world ako ngayon, um, totoo nga si Miss D na how to handle Miss difficult clients is totoo, no? If you, you have skills, um, you can quit anytime kung hindi naman siya yung parang match dun sa sa gusto mo. Uh, like for me also as freelancer, in-aim ko talaga yung freelancing kasi uh, gusto ko hawak ko yung oras ko, may time ako sa family ko. So, 
bakit ako magchachaga sa difficult client kung may skill ako very uh, ano talaga inspiring lahat yung binigay nila sa ating lahat and yung napaka down to earth ng mga guests natin ngayon nakakatawa oh, yeah yeah Yeah, I, I I most definitely agree. Uh, ayan, ladies and gentlemen, I think everybody is talking about how about how excited they are, looking forward to see you guys in just success. Please don't, ano, please don't say no. I I I am hoping, ah, I am hoping. Although I know that you guys are busy, please don't say no. We uh, hanapin na lang natin ang tamang schedule for for this one. Okay, so I have taken so much of your time already, ladies and gentlemen. Ayan, eto po ang flip chat and chill the new. The new version of our flip chat and chill. I hope that you enjoyed it. Please congratulate Miss Anne for doing a very, very good job. Please communicate with these people, the three here, D, uh, Mildred, and Aria. G uh, go send them some messages of thanks. Uh, if you have any more questions, sigila magtanong kayo. But again, let me tell you, let me remind you, ladies and gentlemen, that our time is expensive. So can be yours. Thank you very much for joining us tonight and hope to see you again next time. Bye-bye. Bye, everyone. Good night.